Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker, and today is a wonderful day. Yesterday was hard because yesterday I talked about commitment, and that was the C word. Today I'm going to be talking about the J word. I'm, yes, it's Jesus, but it's also joy. Joy, joy, joy. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. One of the things, if we really want to grow the church, if we really want to be uh, uh, about growing the church and making disciples of Jesus Christ, is that we, you and I, we have to be joyful. Because if we're joyful, people are going to go, what's going on in that place? What, what, what's happening? I want to go where I can experience and enjoy what's happening. Now, the, that does not mean that it's always going to be uh, positive thinking and happy-go-lucky. We can enjoy a dramatic movie. We can enjoy a disaster movie. We can enjoy a story that tugs at our heartstrings and makes us bawl our eyes out. We have all this because of joy. We have passion. We, we have enthusiasm. We, we, we have something that is hitting us in our hearts and in our minds that's transforming who we are. If we're going to be a church that makes disciples, we have to be a church that enjoys it and spreads that joy in the world so that other folks experience what we're trying to be excited about, what we are excited about. You know, so many times I have seen, and I am not joking about this, that, that there are people inside of the church who poison the well. Because the minute they leave the church, they start complaining about how bad the church is. And they start telling the world about how it's nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. And, and, and you should have heard what Sally Mae told Sister Lulu. And you have no clue what Bethel was wearing. And let me tell you about all the bad stuff that's happening. And they gossip and they tear the body of Christ apart. And they're not joyful. They're miserable people. They're living in misery. No, not Missouri. Misery. They're living in misery. And not only that, but they're spreading misery because misery likes company. And they're not, they're not truly being what God called us to be as the church. If you have nothing good to say about your church, I really strongly encourage you, and I do not do this lightly, I strongly encourage you to start praying about why you even go to that church. Because if, if you are a part of the church and you have nothing good to say about the church, you are becoming a poison within a cancer within the body of Christ. Yeah, you are. You're stopping it from being able to grow. I strongly encourage you to go find another part of the body of Christ that hopefully will be one that you can experience joy and experience reformation and transformation in your life. We are called, we are called to be a people who grow together and experience life together. And a part of that means loving one another and, and taking care of each other and uplifting one another. As the church, we're called to lift up one another, not tear ourselves apart, not rip the body of Christ at the seams as if it was some kind of Frankenstein monster, not called to complain so much. My mom and, and my grandma, too, told me, if, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all publicly. Instead, go to the ones who make a difference. Instead, go strive to make a difference and be a difference. You know, we can make the world better. But a part of that means that we have to start focusing on the joy and not on the complaints and the negatives. I, I come from an Irish background. The glass is not half empty, nor is the glass half full. The glass is refillable. The glass is one that we're going to drink to the fullest and experience. That's joy. That's living better together. Amen.